So basically what I got, it took me about 15 minutes. Clean this out, take in here, see if you, it's wet. Obviously it's January right now, but there's, it's ice. And uh, water likes to sit here, so I gotta get those sandbags in here. I can stand up in it right here. Um, it's pretty thick. I put a backstop right here. You know, if they want to come in and just use this backstop or not. Then I've got an exit right here. I'm going to make one more exit going off to the north. But the north is that way. And anything from the north, a buck will want to come in here, bed up with a north wind facing this way so he can see everything he can't smell and everything he can smell he won't be able to see but he'll be able to have an exit for any any predators so in that trail that exit that i'm gonna make right there i'm gonna have a stand location right up in that area so that exit will go right by that stand so i'm trying to manipulate all these little these little areas to go by stand locations so it's gonna be a lot of work but it's fun it's one acre I'm trying to make it the best one acre on the block so my plan i'm right in this bed right now my plan for the extra route to go right by my stand is gonna go right through here but my my, my thought is there the stand is gonna be i can see the tree and obviously it's january so there's no foliage this is gonna be this time of the year it's gonna be where the least amount of foliage is on the trees obviously but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make his exit go about 10 yards and then I'm gonna make it cut. The reason being is because when I'm trying to get into that stand, I don't want him to be able to see down this exit and see me trying to get into the stand. So I'm gonna flip around here. The exit's gonna be right through there. I'm gonna go right past this horizontal tree here and I'm gonna cut it to the right. And it'll give me about a 40, 30 to 40 yard shot if that's the way he takes, you know, to the north. It's a, it's a wheat field and a bean field every year. And uh, so that'd be a good, you know, nighttime feeding for them. You never know, you could climb in here with it being so thick now, he could be bedded here. You could get in a stand 40 yards away. He'd never know it. And when he gets up out of his bed to go feed, that's when you get him. So I'm gonna make a straight trail for about five to eight yards and then cut it so he can't see me getting in the stand. 